Hi there, and welcome to another Doodle session. It is episode six. We've got seven more to go this quarter. And today we are looking at the topic, I will arise. Let's get started. One of the major takeaways from last week's lesson was that when God made our world, he also gave us the manufacturer's manual for us to live optimally. This manual introduces the constitution of God's government, detailing our modulus operandi as for how we interact effectively with our fellow beings, but also how we stay in a relationship with God. So if we uphold the details of his constitution, the result is the same. We'll live a peaceful life here and now with a guaranteed bonus of a post-resurrection life promax at its best. Unfortunately, this has not been followed. Consequently, the perfect order of things has been distorted and no one is exempt from these consequences. One of such consequences is the increase in social oppression and injustice, as the hearts of men have continually grown evil. One of the highlights of this divine constitution is how we relate with God and our fellow beings. Now, topping that list is a group of people whose circumstances have created a dire need, a vacuum exacerbated by the failure of the system and leadership, necessitating a response. They include the strangers, the fatherless, the widows, the list goes on. Now, lacking familial protection and sometimes affection, these people are vulnerable. You do not need to look far. They are all around us. The Mosaic law commands God's people everywhere to take special care of these groups. God himself is not left out here. We we'll see him in the Psalms taking special interest in these groups and assuming the role of defender, warrior, and judge in response to a simple prayer of deliverance from social oppression and injustice and in the Psalms, we see God in his omnipotence. But more importantly, we see a God who is interested enough in the details of the affairs of his children to respond swiftly and powerfully to their rescue, vindicating the oppressed while punishing the oppressors. The Psalmist calls him the divine warrior. What to remember thus far? One, regardless of the enormity of the problem or the details of it, the psalmist always resorted to God for help in acknowledgement of the fact that all things answer to God. Two, now this is because God is omnipotent, but also deeply interested in us as evidenced by his recurring investments in us from the very start. Number three, now, God's omnipotence implies that regardless of what our case is, it is neither too hard nor too late for him to fix. And four, God's willingness to respond means he has interest in us and will protect my interest. The royalty of heaven is interested in me. <laughs> Let that settle. So now that we know what's an eight for me, you see, when we become Christians, we automatically adopt the constitution of heaven and become partners with God in executing the program of heaven, part of which is relieving social injustice within our sphere of influence. Everyone is involved. However, there is a special responsibility on all who assume a position of authority over people in whatever capacity. Your actions or failure to act has ripple effects. They either bring relief or exacerbate social oppressions and injustice. You may successfully evade the legal system here, but we all know we are all accountable to God. You might want to read Psalms 84. It's not pretty at all. For others, my guess is you are probably grinning and in your mind thinking of your political leaders and, and how this perfectly describes them. You're right. But truth is, 
NANIS exams. We are all leaders in some capacity, if not in the government, in your community, in your church, in your jobs, then definitely in your families. We must commit ourselves faithfully to finding ways to protect and provide for the vulnerable in our midst. But what if I don't have the resources? Well, you can send push them to where they can find the resources that's needed. Um, but what if I don't know where to send push them to? Well, can you pray? Then get started. Point is, there is always something that we can do. Let's get started. And with that, we've come to the end of our session today. Thank you for joining in. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's your Sebastian Doodle, doodling out. I'll see you next week.